Welcome to today's tutorial. We are going to be building a custom wood sign that's going to be a last name and established date. And I'm going to be using a six foot one by four board. And I'm also going to use a circular saw to be cutting my wood and then a drill to put it all together. Be sure to watch our Craig Jake tutorial and learn how to create pocket holes to attach your piece. You'll see me doing it in the tutorial, but I'll have it in time lapse, so I won't be giving you step-by-step -step instructions. Be sure to watch the other video to learn how to make it. Because our board is six feet long, I'm going to make four 18 inch pieces to create our sign. going to need for this project Oracle 631 vinyl, transfer tape, masking tape, a ruler or square, a pen, paint in the color of white, antique white, or vanilla. I use an old lid and this is what I put my paint on while I'm working. I use a makeup sponge to paint my sign and to weed my sign I use a dental pick was your squeegee when you're applying your vinyl and green paint. I'm measuring the size of my piece so I can make sure to cut my vinyl accordingly. I know that this is going to be 14 inches wide and I know that it's 18 inches long. Here we are in the Silhouette Studio and I just want to take you in here really quick to show you my design. I'm going to highlight my entire design and I can see my measurements are just under 10 and a half inches wide by 12 inches in length. That looks good. I'm going to take the whole thing and center it up slightly. The excess vinyl on the sides will help be a cover so that I don't accidentally paint the wood where it should not be painted. That looks great. Now I'm going to send a silhouette. this greenery on the silhouette machine and print it out with your design. I was going to paint my leaves by hand and then I remembered that I had a stencil of the leaves so I just went ahead and used that. Mm -hmm. 